Okay, Algebra 1, we've got Chapter 3, Section 3, Function Notation. So function notation will look something like this. Let's say it's a function of x, and that function is negative 2x plus 8. And so they might ask you to find uh, what are the results if x is negative 2. Uh, and let's say maybe they give us another one, x is 4. So really it's just substitution. What it's telling you is, is I'm going to find a function of negative 2. And so everywhere I see an x, I replace it with negative 2. So that's going to be negative 2 times negative 2 plus 8. Negative 2 times negative 2 gives me positive 4. And positive 4 plus 8 gives me a value of 12. So for that function, where x is negative 2, the actual function value is 12. So now I do the next one. I do a function of 4, which just means I take that original equation, and everywhere I see an x, I replace it with a 4. So I've got negative 2 times 4, and then I add the 8. So that's going to be negative 8 plus 8. Oop, so that gives me a value of 0. Okay, so basically we're just substituting in values for our functions. And so next they might give us, uh, oh, they might give us a function of x equals negative 4x. And then they tell you that the function of x is equal to 32. And they're going to ask, well, which x value s solves that function? Well, notice that they are both f of x. f of x is equal to f of x. So the values that they show here must also be equal to each other. So all I do is simply take negative 4x and I set it equal to the 32. And I solve my one-step equation by dividing both sides by negative 4. And 32 divided by negative 4 gives me a value of negative 8. OK, and so our third and final example is going to be something that we might pull off a graph um, let's say, let's say I graph, oh, this line right here. Nope, not that line right there. This line right here. And so this is a function. If I did my vertical line test and go across, this is an actual function. And so... They might ask me, find a value of x to where this function is um, 3. OK, so I just decided that I'm not going to like this one because everywhere is going to be the same answer. So we're going to scratch this real quick. And we're going to do another graph. And I'm going to take uh, a little different route. I'm going to go with that one. Okay, and so I'm going to um, go for an f of x of 9. Okay. And so basically what I'm doing is I'm going on this graph until my, since my x is over here, until my y value is 9. Well, here is my y value of 9. So it's going to end up right there. That's my y value of 9. So my x value, where y is 9, is 4. 
So in this case, x equals 4. So at 4, my y value is 9. And that's just a little bit over 5 minutes. That is chapter 3, section 3, function notation.